Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's my kitchen. And then we're at a weird angle in the kitchen because David broke my chair. Whatever. <laughs> so it doesn't go up any higher, so I'm like all the way down here. But anyway, hi. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So today, I've got some repotting to do, and we've got to make at least a moss pole or two. So everything that I'm repotting today are epipremnum marbles. So I actually, this is my epipremnum panatum marble that I've had for a while from Jax's Jungle. I've had it on this cocoa coir pole, um, and it hasn't, it's growing. It just hasn't, the pole hasn't done anything. It may be attached like down here somewhere. We're gonna find out, but I highly doubt it. And then I did snag another one. I think this one's from Derek at Plants with Dirt. And then I snagged, this one's looking a little bit on the sad side. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe because it's still a moss, but we gotta get in there and see the roots. But I think this one is from Belief Tropicals. They were pretty affordable, these two little, this one looks terrible. What happened to you? Anyway, I've got to get in there and see it. So basically, I want to pot them all up into one pot and get them on a moss pole so that we can get this sized up because this is an absolutely beautiful plant. It will get really fenestrated. Look at that. Look at that leaf. That is gorgeous. So I want big leaves. I am going to start with getting these all potted up together and then i have my moss and my perlite pre-moistened pre-rinsed i just need to mix it up and we're gonna make some moss poles but i have some new moss poles that i've actually been sitting on for a while and i haven't opened them and i'm really excited to finally see them so i want to open them with you guys so this is actually from my friend shelly over at half my soul plants i will leave the information for you down below to go and check this out there is a website so you can buy these if you want to but shelly sent me these and i've really been wanting to see them and i'm excited because they're smaller than the other ones that i have i'm not exactly sure for the Gigantium, I'll probably need a bigger one, but I'm thinking for the Upper Premnum, oh my gosh, there's two different sizes. Let's see what's in here. They look so cute. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Okay, there's like a little note and stuff in here too. Oh my gosh. And a little charm. I think you can like hang that on there. These are so stinking cute, you guys. So these have little hearts for the holes. This one's a little bit wider. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? I don't know. Because the upper problem, the thing is, the stems don't need like a wide pole, but as the plant grows and the pole gets taller, then it becomes a problem, but I'm really kind of just like set on trying to use this little one, this like skinnier one for that for Premnum, just because I think it's going to be way cuter. I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely wanted to show you guys these, and I'm definitely going to be using these today, but we will get to that. We're going to fill these with moss and perlite in like the sloppiest way you're ever going to see in your life. But it's fine it gets done so i'm going to tilt you guys down and we're gonna get to repotting these epipremnum panatum marbles and hopefully this is the start of them growing big and mature that maybe by this time next year we'll have a nice massive plant and i won't screw it up all right, you guys, so I've got my mat here, my repotting mat from Mats by Cat. I'll leave that linked down below for you guys. I do have a discount code. She's also now on Plant Story. 
I should actually have some new stuff coming in the mail today, like even bigger repotting mats. So I'm excited and like some cute little mini ones too for just like quick little projects. But anyway, let's get in to repotting. So I'm going to be using my regular soil mix today, which is... Fox Farm Ocean Forest mixed with some orchid bark, some perlite, and I actually don't have any chunky perlite. I haven't been able to get any from Soul Soils. They've been sold out for a while, but I can probably use some of the perlite that's in here actually because I did repot this not that long ago myself, so this is my soil. Get this off of here. She's so cute. This one has multiple growth points too. And I am going to be getting rid of a lot of these because they get really nasty. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to have the part that goes into the soil be made out of wood for these, but not really a smart choice for the long run of these plants. So this one was in like a more cocoa chunky mix so I can reuse some of that too if I wanted to it's okay if some of these chunks stay on the roots they both have pretty good roots it's this one that I'm a little bit more worried about yeah I don't think it has roots unfortunately it has this one good aerial root here and another one here but it's definitely on the struggle bus I'm not sure if it if they just rotted this is a mostly like mossy perlite mix it seems so I don't know I'm not exactly sure what happened but I am going to probably stick this in water and try and just get it to come back to life a little bit rid of this bottom leaf before I pot it up. If I can get like just a little bit of even just like secondary roots because it looks like this aerial root started to rot too. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I, I may have, what may have happened is if I waited too long to water and the roots kind of shriveled up a little bit and then when I went to water it again, the roots couldn't handle it and they rotted, which is called dry rot, which is kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's a thing. And I've done it to many, many snake plants thinking, <laughs> it's fine, I don't need to water it, it's a snake plant. Um, so that probably happened, unfortunately, with this because moss does dry up really quickly. And I was avoiding watering these plants for a little while because every day I kept telling myself, I'm gonna repot them, I'm gonna repot them tomorrow, so I don't wanna water them today. And it, it's been a while. <laughs> so I did eventually water it, obviously, but I probably, in hindsight, waited just a little bit too long. But it's an epigramnum. They're really, really easy going, easy growing. This is going to root really fast for me in water, and then I can just plop it right in the pot. As long as I don't let the roots get too extensive in the water, I can just pop it right into the pot that we're going to pot these in today so I am thinking that they're gonna be fine in here they'll be a little maybe a little squished but I don't really have a larger pot to put them in so they're just gonna kind of have to deal with that for now until we upgrade at some point probably next year as hopefully as this plant grows maybe by summertime we'll be needing to give this one a chop and a new pole to start, you know, growing out the top. Because ideally that's what happens on the moss pole. That's the point of the moss pole. The leaves get bigger and as the plant outgrows the moss pole, you cut the top larger growth off, reroot it, or ideally it's already rooted into the moss pole so you don't really have to do that, which is the whole point of me switching them over to proper moss poles as well in case you missed that in my last video where we repotted and made some moss poles together. So hopefully that'll be the situation and it won't be in here for too 
long. So let me mix up some of my soil. Okay, so she looks like a hot mess right now, but just bear with me because I want to get the pole in there next. Okay, so usually I like bend the edges of these to get like the shape down a little bit, if you know what I mean. It's like a little bit perforated for whatever the, I don't know if that's the right word for that. To bend it, you see what I mean? Just be really careful. This is actually a really sturdy plastic though. This is not as like thin and flimsy as the ones I got on Amazon. And they do make these themselves. They literally sit there and take all of the little hearts and all the pieces out one by one, which would literally drive me insane. <laughs> but it's really cute and I feel like it's worth it if it comes out this cute. So now I'm just gonna stick these tabs into the slots here. You can see there's some slots in here. Just gonna make sure it's open. And then I'm gonna take this tab and slide it in there. This is so stinking cute. All right, I almost got it. Do you know what I'm thinking too that I'm loving about this that I absolutely hate about the ones off of Amazon? They come covered like in this thin plastic that is an absolute nightmare to try and get off all of the little holes. It is literally awful. So how stinking cute is this? And then you can also buy, where did I put it? The little ghost charm and you can just kind of attach it to the top or wherever on your pole how cute is that okay so i'm gonna stick this in here it's not gonna need to go too deep because i feel like like i said these this is a pretty small setup honestly if i had a larger pot i that would definitely be the better option for it we're just gonna try and make this work. So I like to put the moss pole in first so that I can kind of fill it all up, even in the bottom of the pole with the soil. So it's kind of just like anchored down in here better. Attach, but hopefully it will start attaching itself to the pole once we get it filled so also if I see any aerial root like this that's kind of just sticking out I will just put it in the nearest hole so obviously you want to try and get those aerials pointed at the moss and the perlite so that it can root into it. Okay, that is that. We gotta mix up this moss and perlite. I do like to have the perlite in there. Some of you have asked why the perlite. It helps aerate the moss and it is what I normally root in. I also just like it more aesthetically. So that is the reason why. Moss can be a real pain in the butt to get off of roots when you root in moss. So having some of that 
perlite in there is kind of the same reason why you would put you know perlite in your soil it's for aeration it's just to kind of make it a little bit less dense all right so now comes the sloppiest method of filling a moss pole ever and that is just shoving the moss and perlite down in there I need, probably need something to like usually have a bamboo steak okay bam I couldn't find my bamboo steaks but I do have this skeleton hand <laughs> so that's what we're going with it works perfect and now we're gonna pack it down in there like you're packing a cone and I know a lot of people like to fill theirs before they do this um, but I don't because then I go to try and like anchor it in there and everything just falls out at the bottom. Like, you know, I just like, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. So, we do it the messy way. Here's what it looks like. I think this is absolutely adorable. Like I said, I will leave these linked down below. I'm pretty sure there's other patterns, not just the hearts. So definitely go and check it out. Okay, fam. So this is what she's looking like. Look at how stinking cute this is. I am low key obsessed with this. The quality, the thickness of this plastic compared to the really just ugh, flimsy, horrible ones on Amazon that I was getting that I just honestly wasn't loving. I love this. I think this is so cute and I am 100% going to be getting more, especially of these little ones. Hopefully there's some other cute patterns that I didn't miss out on because I'm so late, like I said, to opening these things have been crazy but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that maybe you learned something along the way epipremnum are literally the easiest plant possible if you guys want me to do a full care guide on this one I am more than happy to do that let me know in the comments below so that is it for this one I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today if you did you should definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me everything is appreciated cannot do this without you guys i love you so so very much you know the best way to help support me and my channel is to go and check out my website. I'll be restocking after the holidays, so definitely keep your eyes open for that. I'll let you know when I've got new stuff. I'm doing some lives over on Plant Story where we're just chit-chatting about different things, so definitely make sure that you download Plant Story if you want to come and hang out live with me and you don't want to miss that. And um, I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water and I will see you in the next one. Bye.